أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أكيلهم أدبلوا دلهم أف ترويك كفو أجوا شو جوا النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أكيلهم كما وقولوا النبي أتبو بيتي إنبومي ني أكوكوي أرتي مفبا وصلي أرونا awon mo wa ni mo fe ba soro lele tu je pe mama fi odo yinbo die sinu awon oro na tin ba tin ba wa so tori awon tu je pe won le ma gbo yoruba daada ninu awon mo wa of praises of thanks be to almighty allah the lord of the world we thank almighty allah for everything that allah has done in our life without almighty allah we wouldn't have been able to be where we are today. It is everything that we have achieved today. Everything belongs to Almighty Allah and Allah alone. Alhamdulillah. My dear children, uh, I would like to briefly tell you how much we cherished the gift that Almighty Allah has given to us in you. Because um, having you in our life is, a, is, the, is the most beautiful thing that uh, we ever pray for. And we thank Almighty Allah for bringing every one of you into our life. Um, but there is one thing. When you had a child, it is the aspiration. It is the prayer of every child, uh, of every parent that every child that God has given to them should be successful, should be great in life. It is the aspiration of every parent you have out there. It is the aspiration of every parent you have out there. Bubu, bipata, lufe komo anwa shurire. Kusenin, kusubina, ti unife kome kushurire. society kini awon nkan na mo mo pe eyan mo wa te ba notice igba mi awa ta je parent yin a ma ba yin fa won iju kan ninu le eyan mo wa ni igba yen e ma ma ro pe ah why ti daddy se nba mi faru nkan yi why ti won mi se nba mi fa nkan yi iru omo ti o wa ni school ti ko ba serious amo in kotoli shele siwa mobe. So, but we, we need to let you, our children understand one thing. Before you embark on any journey in life, there is a repercussion for that journey. Taba so kwe ang shadra fun yi kwe afeke shurire. Ki she kwe bo ya afeke gba o lati o lomba she fun yi. A afeke kuje yi kwe ni kwe ata wati shurire ko wa je pe eyin wa di eni to mama ko ba ta fe gbe won we don't want to be a slave to your friends to your children of your age or people that are older than you we want to you to be self dependent we want you to be successful that is why sometimes we victimize you we fight you we uh, talk to you some time. We encourage you some time. And despite all this, we also pray. We fast. All because we want you to be better than us. The most important exercise in our life to you is to find a way how we are going to make you a better person than us. And your mama, kusi kota fegba. I think you will be sure you're ready. I want to go and learn society. What they need. 
eyan mo wa ta nowo le lori ta nse gbogbo nkan to e ka se fun yin awari wi pe e njo yin le gbe okuku e nrinre kunrin e kegbe kegbe e nwa wa ku wa ka kiri e nle nkan ti o se ka kiri awon nkan ti o ye ku a ma ba yin nibe an ba yin nibe eyan mo te wa ni secondary school e njo yin secret courts there is a repercussion for every step you take in life. There is going to be a consequence at the end of every journey. Omo ta ba ba soro. Ti omo ye ba fi le gboro. To listen si wa. To she ti ti wa. To bo ti ti wa. To ba ti wa. There is a repercussion for that. I want you to know this. It is very, very important that you keep this at the back of your mind. There is a reward for everything you do. See, let me tell you, as a Muslim, you are allowed to do anything. But you are not allowed to do whatever you want to do. You have the freedom to do some whatever you want to do but you cannot do anything you like. You cannot do anything you like. Let me tell you, you cannot kill yourself. You cannot destroy your life. You cannot engage in any evil activities. You are not allowed to do that. You are not allowed to take your life, no matter what you are going through in life. You cannot disobey Allah. You cannot walk in the midst of evil people. You cannot listen to the word of shaitan, the word of evil, the word of shaitan, the instruction given to you by shaitan. You cannot disrespect your parents, and etc. My dear children, my dear brothers and sisters, I want you to please to know that you are so precious to we, your parents, even more than a gold. You are much more precious to us, even more than gold. And I want you to know that, oh, the reason why we've been having a little bit of shouting match with you is because we, your parents, we have made some mistakes in life in the past. And our goal right now is that we don't want you to fall victim of some of the mistakes we have made in, in the past. Sheri li aye, ni jota ati mbo wali aye, lo ni ka lo kote kwa ako sile in koto ma jela yewa. E ni toblo mba ma ashe ni o lowo. Sheri mbo wak pata pata la ma jyo lowo. Every one of us, we are going to be rich in life. But our richness has a level, every level. And each one, each and every one of us, we have level. Allah has designed a level for every one of us. I mean, let me explain this better. But Ibitonika Lukuama Lowo de or no to set ye. And it's your long banic with billion lumama kala ye. And ye could seem to lishi. To live a trillion. If it has been destined that till the end of your life you will never touch a million, there is nothing you can do to touch a million in your life. There are some of us that will be doing something of millions of naira, but we will never touch millions of naira. We will never touch it. 
it has been designed and destined by Almighty Allah. And I want you to understand one thing. It is not possible for all of us to be billionaire, trillionaire. If it happens like that, this world will be so boring. The world will become so boring. There will be no cleaner. There will be no cabman. There will be no Uber, Uberman. There will be no messenger. Alone, no shilia ye be. And we need not to destabilize what God has already put in place. Actually, as a human being, it is the desire of every person to be rich in life. But let me tell you, before you depart the soul of your destiny, before you come to this world, you've already destined something. God had already destined something for you, for your life and for your future. So, the best you can do is to accept the judgment of Almighty Allah in your life. And but what the fact that you did not, you don't have money today, does not mean that you are not going to have money. We, your parents, have you, has, have your parents ever sat you down to tell you the story of what they've been through in life? Let me tell you what my personal self have been through. I've suffered a lot. There are times in my life that if I, if I, if my, my shoe does not thud into two, into two pieces, I will not have money to buy another one. There are times that I've been through in life that to eat has become so difficult. Life was so tough for me. My dear children, I'm not rich yet today. I don't have the house of my own. I don't have my own car. I don't have a lot of things. But I'm contented with what God has done in my life today. I am so happy for all that Allah has done in my life today. I'm happy for the gift that God has given me today. My dear children, you need to be contempted. You have to be contempted. You have to be contempted. You have to thank God for all that God has done in your life. You have to be appreciative. The little that your parents are spending on you, please appreciate them. And they will only destroy your life. Who are the people I'm talking about? The people you are taking as your mentor, the people you are taking as your special uh, advisor, despite the fact that you know your parents should have been the best advisor you will have, look at what your parents have done in your life. Look at what they've been through all because of you. Think about everything that you have done in your life. Think about the love, the caring, when you were young. Look at what your mommy go through when you were in a womb. You put her through a lot of trauma. You put her through a lot of pains. The day you were coming to this world, have you ever been sat down or sit down or sat down to talk about what your mother had to go through uh, during your uh, when you were about to come? You put her through a lot of trauma. You put her through a lot of pains. And is she not enough to be taken as your mentor? My dear children, please, for the sake of Allah, your parents should be the best mentor you have. Your mother should be the best friend you will have. Those ones who are telling you to disobey your parents, 
were your strong and an open enemy. And Allah has enjoined us in the Quran, La tatabi wa khutwa to shaitan, inna hulakum adukum mubim. These people are only in your life to deceive you. These people are only in your life to cause destruction into your life. They want to destroy every good thing that is about to happen in your life. My dear children, please listen to the word of wisdom. I want you to think about this. One day you will have your own children. If you are doing something that is very good and your parents and your children do not want to follow you, they do not want to uh, follow the lesson that you are trying to pass on to them. You will never be happy with that. My dear children, please desist from all forms of bad characters, engaging in all sorts of hard drugs, alcohol, and all sorts of things that can destroy that doesn't increase anything in your life. Those who are telling you that for you to be able to think uh, deeper, you need to be so high. They are only there to destroy your life. They only want to destroy your life. They do not love you. Nobody can love you like your parents. Nobody can think about you like your parents. Nobody can love you like your parents. Nobody really wants the best for you in life like your parents. My dear children, please desist for, from all sorts of things, activities that we have a very bitter repercussion in your life. I want every one of you to please come back home. Listen to your parents. Discuss whatsoever that is boggling your mind with your parents. And your mother, eku ni pa yi, e ni shori boroku, e ye kegbe kegbe, e ye kore kore, e ye ri no kuni, e ma fagidi wankan. Bubuntu lo mba ko mo yi ku ni ko jayi, e ma sari kiri, Bogbo nkan to lo mba ti komo eru to lo mba ti komo eda e ko ni koja onitomi eyan mo wa e ni sori buroko e ma sori re lagbara olohun e jo ni tori to olohun atanna do muhammad o pa mi le kuni gbogbo gba tin ba ri be ba si be si ma nse ni club ha ni ke ma lo club sugbon club te ba ma lo if you want to do parenting, junior, you can't do it. The restaurant is a club. The club is a club. The restaurant 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 is Say no to a drug. Say no to a drug. Say no to a drug. It is taking you to a destruction path in life. By the special grace of God. May every evil be planned against you to destroy your future and your destiny. Never come to pass. Amen. Allah. My dear children, a journey to your long. Mugboy le ma shuri re. Mugboy le ma shuri re. A journey to your long. A birai. A jarai kulo lowa mweni bitan fe pa ye inje. It is going to cause a big trouble to your life. Please and please and please for the sake of Allah. Change now. Change now. Change now. La bara long e ma shuri re. Any shuri buruko, anu ala unyo kuro lori nyo. Eyo mwa ogoni, ashi yes funi. Amen ya Allah. Ogoni atonka kiri ayo. Wala hawla wala wata ila Allah. Subhana rabbika rabbil aizati amin asifun. Wassalamu ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته